So tonight's the big Final Fantasy XIV announcement event that everybody's been waiting for. Uh, I don't play fourteen. I, I don't have time, right? I don't have the time to uh, pour into it. I wish I did. I did play a little bit back in the day before it was what it is now, right? I played the not as great version of fourteen, <laughs> and I kind of fell off. I would love to go back and play it now, but I'm excited because I do keep up with the Final Fantasy XIV stuff through different creators that play it and different streamers. I will bump in every now and then and check some stuff out. But uh, that being said, I'm excited to see what they announced tonight. I'm really excited to see if they announce something for Final Fantasy XVI tonight. Because it's the same development team, right? It's the same development team working on 14 and 16. Yoshi P is working on it. I'm excited to see if they announce like a release date, maybe a new trailer or whatever the deal is. I feel like this thing's close to done. I feel like this thing is, the trailer we got last year actually looked really good. It still needed a little polish as you all can see in the video running, but it looks great. And yeah, it, yes, it's it's action oriented. You can tell, but I would like for us to see more, like party how party members are going to work, if party members are going to work, what kind of style of game this is going to be. They can give us a good two to three minute trailer and show us, you know, a little more in depth, like what what the what the UI is going to look like, what the interface is going to look like. They could talk a little bit about that stuff. We have no idea. They said 2021 for this game, but we still don't know, right? We, we still don't know if it's going to make 2021. I don't think they've said anything definitive about that. If it is, I think they've probably got a pretty good idea of when the release date is, if it's going to be 2021. I think it's probably going to be holiday season, but I mean, we'll see. I'm probably getting ahead of myself a little bit. I'm really excited to see what they can do if they pull this off and what other announcements they might have you know now correct me if i'm wrong in the comments and i, I know you all will let me know because I, I could be wrong about this but i think tonight's announcement event is replacing the final fantasy fan event in japan because of the covid stuff and everything because japanese japan is getting ready to go on lockdown i believe again uh but like I said, I, I could be way off on that. I, I don't know. That's that's my hunch, right? I think it's, this is the time of year, February, when they would do that. And I think this is replacing that. So let me know if, if I'm not correct on that. But I am really excited. I want to see like a little more story stuff. I would like to see some of the more characters they're going to do. I hope this game's not really short. I hope this game isn't like like 15. I think 15 was not a bad game, but people didn't like how short it was, right? I like that you could just blow through it if you wanted to. And then you had to get the other DLC to add meat to the game. I think a lot of people were kind of put off by that. I, me, me too. I, I was put off by that a little bit too. I, when you play Final Fantasy, you expect in a 35 to maybe 50 hour play experience. And you really didn't get that with 15, I didn't feel. And I hope they give us that with this because it's next gen. It can hold so much data now. It takes a lot of data to process these games, but it can hold so much now. The games are so powerful now. Give us that big sword and sorcery Final Fantasy that we've been waiting for for, well, since Final Fantasy IX, really. I wouldn't count 12. I wouldn't count 12 as a sword and sorcery because it did have some steampunk kind of aspects to it, which were great. 12 is one of my favorites. A lot of people. A lot of you all fight me on that. <laughs> but 12 is one of my favorites. I, I love the ensemble cast. And I feel like that's where this one's going to go, right? Because Clive is the main protagonist, obviously. There's a time skip. We get a little bit of history on what's going on. And I wonder if the game plays as like two games in one, right? Because I feel like you're going to play for a little bit as Clive, young Clive, and then you're going to get older Clive, right? You're going to get older Clive who's grizzled, war-hardened on the path of vengeance. So I'm really excited about that, but I'm also excited to see the other characters we're going to get, what roles they fill and how they work within the gameplay. Like if it's going to be a, 
type of uh, ensemble cast like we had with um, Final Fantasy XII. That was a great that was a great ensemble cast, right? You didn't have your Cloud, you didn't have your Squall, you had Vaughn, but the the story is kind of being told through his eyes almost. You're playing as him, or you can mix it up and play as different people, but the power in Final Fantasy XII was the ensemble, right? And I feel like I have nothing to base this on, and I feel like that might be the path they're going with this game too. Because you see the story through Clive's eyes, but then you see some other characters who could be prominent kind of showing up and stuff. And all the characters in this trailer look so interesting. It's an exciting time to be getting hyped for Final Fantasy 16 because I, th I think we could see something tonight. But, you know, with the, uh, the way Square Enix is going with, you know, the COVID stuff and the way they're redoing the layout and the structure of, you know, how things are working, how they're working on things internally. Originally, they did want this to be coming out in 2021. Now, now we don't know. Now, now we don't know if it's going to be this year or not. We know Final Fantasy VII Remake Part Two, whatever it's going to be called, First Soldier, Ever Crisis, Forever Crisis, uh, you know, Sephiroth's Mommy Issues Crisis, uh, you know, back, you know, whatever you want to call it. I think we're going to, uh, I think we're going to be having things get delayed. And they could be announcing something about that tonight. They could talk about delays a little bit tonight as well. But also, I'm trying to be careful not to hype myself out of enjoying whatever they give us tonight. Right? So, I make this video with that, that kind of caution in mind. And, and being aware that there were some things that came out that they that people have done recently, game companies have done recently, that I kind of hyped myself out of enjoying just the announcement or whatever they were presenting to us. I'm, I'm doing my best not to do that tonight, but we'll see. I hope they present us something great. Uh, I'm looking forward to, A, getting back into Final Fantasy XIV at some point because, God, I see people playing and doing the stuff online, and I'm like, I just I, I want to be a part of that. I, I want to be a part of it so bad. I just can't. I don't have time. You all know everything I'm working on right now. The projects lined up, the, the big, big projects that are coming. You all know about those from my Patreon, from here on the YouTube channel. So I want to get back into it. I just don't have, maybe, maybe later this year I can get into it. I just hope I'm not too far behind with all the expansions that I can't catch up, right? Um, but anyway, let me know what you all think about the event tonight. What are you looking forward to? What do you think they're going to drop on us tonight? Because I think it's going to be, I think it's going to have a lot of meat. Of course, they're going to focus on Final Fantasy XIV. That's the point of the announcement tonight. Now, I think Square's got something else coming up pretty soon, too. I'd have to look, because there's a lot of stuff going on and coming up right now. So, but I'll have to look at that. But anyway, you all have a great day. Keep rocking. Be safe out there. Be good to each other. And be hype. Be hype, man. It's a great time to be a fan of video games. It's a great time to be a fan of Final Fantasy. They are cooking right now. Square Enix is cooking right now. They've got the mysterious Project Athia that we don't know much about except for like a concept trailer. We, we've got Final Fantasy 16, Final Fantasy 14, new stuff coming, Final Fantasy 7 Remake game number two on the horizon. Uh, there's a lot, a lot to be hyped for just in the Square Enix camp. I'm not even talking about Capcom and some of the other big developers out there working on cool stuff. So you all be good to each other. Stay safe out there. Keep rocking above all else. Make sure you keep rocking. And I will see you on the next video.